Some art never gets old, and yet some only lasts until it rains. Each year, hundreds of chalk artists descend on Denver and other parts of Colorado to show off their work and to educate the public. If you happen to miss last week's spectacular show along the 16th Street Mall, you're in luck because Nine News storytellers Kevin Torres and Kevin Sullivan show us what was done and what the artists wanted everyone to walk away with. We are having a street painting festival. Take a look around. How'd you come up with Bella? Every corner. Come on over here, young lady. I like it. somebody entrepreneurial. And whatever you do. Oh, but you gotta use the magnifying glass to see it better. Make sure you look closely. Can you see it? Because if you blink. Spence is killing me. You might miss. It's the world's smallest flower right there. The tiniest detail. I used a cat whisker. Yeah. A cat whisker? Well, how is he going to make something small? <laughs> Details are important after all. Wow, that does look great. They can make or break a piece. You see lots of different techniques. High contrast works best. A good balance between not too smoothed in and not too fuzzy. It has to be kind of a little of both. You're going to get more zing to it. Zing is the thing every chalk artist strives for. Hi, ladies. Hi. How you doing? They each take their own spin on it. Hi, These are key, though. Spinning is one thing, <laughs> spritzing is another. Water is our friend. You wouldn't think so, but it is. Aside from the chalk, water is the only other key ingredient to make a perfect piece. Just enough so you can darken a little bit and it dries really quick. Then there's that familiar sound, you know, the ch, -ch, -ch, -ch. And then like a smoother sound, ch -ch -ch, and then whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> you can pretty much hear it everywhere. It's pretty cool. That sound means something amazing is being created. I love, love, love doing animals. It's one of my favorite things to draw. My dad is a feline specialist and veterinarian, so this really is oh, And a creation isn't complete without a compliment. It makes it all worth it. All the back pain and everything, <laughs> the sunburn is all worth it if you say you like it. So many people with so many different backgrounds. There are some very good artists here. All brought together in one location. It's just one piece at a time. Trying to reach the same goal. It is to raise cultural awareness and uh, of the arts and everything in this city. And to have a little fun in between. I'll hold your beer. <laughs> go ahead. There you go. They fall for it every time. <laughs> With photojournalist Kevin Sullivan. Yay. There it is. Yay. This is Kevin Torres, 9 News. If you'd like to see who won at the Chalk Art Festival, you can head to 9news.com.